everything I tell people is basically around connecting with people one-on-one. And many people would say, well, that doesn't seem like a very efficient way to network. You're not going to meet enough people. It's going to take forever. But I would argue your conversion rate, your rate of people you're going to create in to connections and have relationships with is going to be better if you're talking to them one-on-one, really listening to what they're saying, understanding what they're challenged with or struggling with or how you can help them and being able to help them. That's going to create the relationship much quick and develop that connection. And then they're going to want to help you when you say to them, hey, who can you introduce me to? Or can you introduce me to this person? And to me, that's more networking than getting a list of people that you're then going to follow up with and try to have conversations with or trade cards. I always come at this from the standpoint of you need to really have real conversations to build real connections. And that's going to happen better in a one-on-one environment as opposed to a one-to-many environment. It's not about a quantity of connections. It's about a quality of connections. So your network doesn't have to be hundreds of people. It should be a couple dozen or 50 strong connections or people that you really could connect with at any time. If you knew 50 people that you were pretty confident that anytime you reached out to them, they would respond and they know 50 people, you're talking like 2,500 people right there that you could get access to by them connecting you. And so that's how I tend to tell people to focus is really grow strong professional relationships with people for mutual benefit. So you're both working on this to help you, to help them. You're out there to help other people, not just focus on what you can get out of networking.